Hello and welcome to our new video. It's that time of the year again. The time when a new Ubuntu release comes out. We have already checked out Ubuntu 23.10 in one of our previous videos, so this time we will have a quick look at two of its official flavors, Kubuntu 23.10 and Ubuntu Mate 23.10, so don't go anywhere. Kubuntu's previous edition 23.04 was a great release in our opinion, so we were excited to try out the new release 23.10 codenamed Mantic Minotaur. But our main concern was whether the new Kubuntu release would be a step forward or not, and what we found out we'll show you in the video. First of all, while the mainline Ubuntu Mantic Minotaur comes with a new installer, Kubuntu sticks to its version of the widely used distribution agnostic Calamaris installer. The installation process in Kubuntu 23.10 was fast, easy, familiar and without any problems. When the installation is done, a user is welcomed by a sleek and familiar Kubuntu desktop. You will not see a difference between the Kubuntu Mantic Minotaur and the Lunar Lobster. What really makes the difference is under the hood. Kubuntu 23.10 comes with KDE Plasma version 5.27.8, a newer version of the desktop environment, and runs on the Linux kernel version 6.5 again a newer version than its predecessor. You get a consistent and familiar desktop experience where everything is just where you expect it to be. The system tray area is in the lower right hand corner of the screen. In the lower left-hand corner of the screen, there's KDE's Start menu. There, you can find a set of pre-installed apps and tools that will make you productive from the start. Right next to the Start menu, there are some app shortcuts that are pinned to the taskbar by default. KDE's file browser called Dolphin and Mozilla Firefox, the default web browser, are among them. Discover is Kubuntu's App Center. There you can not only install and uninstall applications, but it also handles the system updates. When it comes to app installation, let's see what sources Kubuntu offers for its applications. We'll take VLC, a popular media player, as an example. As you can see here, you can install it from official Ubuntu repositories and from Ubuntu's Snap platform as well. The app from the Snap platform is sandboxed and regularly updated while the version from the Ubuntu repositories is always the same during the life cycle of the distribution. In the case of Kubuntu 23.10, it's until July 2024. In the midst of a heated debate on whether Ubuntu imposes snaps on its users, we have seen that in Kubuntu 23.10, out of the all common apps, only Firefox is delivered as a snap app. Although the Flatpak platform is not available out of the box, since the Kubuntu 23.04 version, it's still easy to install. Kubuntu 23.10 comes with the latest version of Firefox, as of the time of recording the video. Firefox is a fast, secure and customizable web browser that respects your privacy. Kubuntu 23.10 also comes with one of the latest versions of LibreOffice, the free and open source Office suite that is compatible with Microsoft Office and other formats. 
Kubuntu 23.10 features a fresh version of Thunderbird, the free and open source email client that lets you manage multiple accounts, calendars, contacts and tasks. Even after opening and closing several apps and recording the video, Kubuntu was using 1.3 GB of RAM, which is very sensible. Additionally, Kubuntu 23.10 follows the tradition of its predecessors and provides all-around options for system customization, including adding multiple widgets or adding even more desktop backgrounds or global themes. All of these make Kubuntu an excellent and highly recommended operating system. Ubuntu Mate 23.10 Mantic Minotaur comes with Ubuntu's classic installer called Ubiquiti. It's a well-known installation experience and the Ubiquiti completed its job without problems. After the installation is completed, a user is greeted by the Ubuntu Mate welcome screen, which offers some useful options, such as getting started, where you can install updates, drivers, codecs and software, features where you can learn more about Ubuntu Mate's features and benefits, community, where you can join the Ubuntu Mate community and get support, and boutique, where you can browse and install more applications from various sources. A gem of Ubuntu Mate, in our opinion, is its welcome app, designed so that even newcomers to Linux could easily find their way around the distribution. Its getting started section is particularly helpful and provides easy access to things like system update, additional codecs, installing additional themes and community wallpapers. The welcome app in Ubuntu Mate also enables users to install additional drivers if there are any. This can improve the performance and compatibility of your system with various hardware devices. The welcome app also provides a way to reach the system info where you can see information about the operating system version, the kernel version, the hardware components and the system resources. The default Ubuntu Mate 23.10 desktop is organized in a way that there are workspaces and a recycle bin in the lower right hand corner of the screen. The show desktop button is in the lower left hand corner. It's the system tray area in the upper right hand corner of the screen. There you'll also find the system monitor application. There you'll find Mate's control center, which is, in our view, one of the most comprehensive control centers in the Linux world. The next thing is the calendar, and then the clock and volume controls. And then comes our main gripe with Ubuntu Mate. This time again, as was the case every once in a while, there are two connection icons in the system tray area. We have had the issue both on real hardware and in a virtual environment. In the upper left hand corner of the screen there is a brisk menu, a menu originally made for the budget project. Ubuntu Mate has already adopted it earlier. Ubuntu Mate 23.10 also brings in a set of applications that will make you productive from the start. Another feature of Ubuntu Mate, including the 23.10 version, is the app called Mate Tweak. If you're not happy with the default desktop setup, then this app is for you. It offers several pre-configured desktop layouts with very self-explanatory names – Contemporary, Cupertino, Familiar, Mutiny, Pantheon, 
Redmond and traditional. They mimic the workflow in different desktop environments or operating systems. Another gem in Ubuntu Mate is the app called Software Boutique. It does not include all of the software available, but it enables users to install apps that would normally require some previous Linux experience. This includes third-party apps that are not available in the official Ubuntu repositories. There are some examples in the sound and video category, for instance. If Software Boutique is not enough, you can install the GNOME software app that will assist you in the graphical installation of any available application. Another excellent app in Ubuntu Mate's arsenal is Browser Selection. The app enables you to easily install any of the most popular web browsers. Ubuntu Mate 23.10 is also full of modern desktop themes, installed out of the box, and it offers several pre-installed desktop wallpapers. The set includes a desktop background with a Mantic Minotaur theme, made with the help of artificial intelligence. The set also contains a wallpaper from the Ubuntu 23.10 main theme, but in this case with multi-specific colors. Ubuntu Mate 23.10 comes with the latest version of its key apps, like Firefox and LibreOffice as well. In Ubuntu Mate 23.10 there are several applications installed as snaps, and they include Firefox, Software Boutique and Ubuntu Mate Welcome. And, as it's the case with other official Ubuntu flavors, in Ubuntu Mate 23.10 there are no flatpacks pre-installed. When it comes to software availability, as we can see here in GNOME software, apps are offered from both Ubuntu official repositories and from the Snap platform as well. All in all, Ubuntu Mate 23.10 is a reliable and stable Linux distribution, and if you don't mind some minor glitches, and at the same time if you like the classic desktop paradigm, then you don't have to look further than Ubuntu Mate. That's all for the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.